Our first speaker this morning, Dr. John Varga. John received his bachelor's at uh, Columbia. Uh, then he was in University of Glasgow in Scotland in molecular biology, and then um, uh, and also in Mexico in Guadalajara. And then received his medical degree at NYU. He was an intern resident at uh, Brown University. Uh, he was a fellow at rheumatology at uh, Boston University with Alan Cohen. He did a postdoc fellowship at University of Pennsylvania. Then he was on the faculty at Jefferson, uh, where uh, he was associate professor, went to the University of Illinois, where he was professor and chief of rheumatology. And he's presently the Gallagher Chair in the Department of Medicine at the Feinberg School of Medicine in Northwestern University. Uh, he's been the, on the Organizing Committee of International Scleroderma Research uh, Workshops. Uh, he's been the section editor of Up to Date. He's a member of the American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association Task Force Expert Document on Pulmonary Hypertension. Uh, editorial Board of Clinical Experimental Rheumatology Scientific Committee of the Carwile Leroy uh, Memorial Symposium. He's written 44 book chapter, chapters, mostly on scleroderma, and two books. And this morning he's going to talk about scleroderma and vasculopathy, vascular changes. John. Uh, it's really my pleasure to be here this morning and uh, an honor to be uh, invited to participate in this great symposium. Uh, what I'd like to talk about uh, this morning is, is scleroderma and some of the recent developments. Um, really focusing towards uh, uh, rational approaches to developing treatments to this disease that we have long considered to be <clears throat> not only incurable but untreatable. And uh, the way I divided this is I'm going to talk a little bit more about the vascular complications of scleroderma this morning and then uh, in, the, in, the, in the second talk focus more on the fibrotic complications of this disease. Okay. Uh, and uh, these are my conflicts of interest. So uh, this is just the outline of what I'd like to uh, cover this morning. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, how we think about scleroderma as a very complex and somewhat unique type of condition. Talk a little bit about the genetics. <clears throat> uh, and this is certainly not a disease that we have traditionally thought of as a genetic disease. And yet I think uh, uh, there is a more sophisticated way to think about it, which, which points to a potentially important role of genetics and where that's going. Um, and I'll keep coming back to this characteristic triad of scleroderma pathogenesis of vasculopathy, fibrosis, and inflammation or autoimmunity. And then focus on vasculopathy, a little bit about pathogenesis, and talk about Raynaud's 